Mario Alberto Kempis Tioli was born on July 15th, 1954 in Belleville, located in the province of Córdoba in Argentina. He started playing football at nine years old and it was inspired by his father who was also a footballer. Mario started playing for his local club side, Club Atlético y Biblioteca Bell. Then at the age of 14, he joined Talleres' reserve team, which is located in the city of Córdoba. However, he would switch teams pretty quickly, but he would stay in the city as Mario joined Instituto Atlético Central Córdoba. And this is where his pro career would begin. Mario joined Instituto AC in 1973, where he only made 13 appearances, but he scored 11 goals. And his goal scoring talent started to catch the eye of bigger clubs in Argentina. And so he ended up signing with Rosario Central. So Mario made the four hour trip west to Rosario. Mario arrived in Rosario and this is where he established himself as a potent goal scorer. He netted 85 goals in 107 appearances playing three seasons for the Canaria. And due to Mario's remarkable goal scoring abilities, he got the nickname El Matador or the killer. And after his brilliant three seasons in Rosario, scoring goals left, right, and center, it was time for 22 year old Mario to test himself in Europe. And it was the Spanish outfit Valencia that ended up signing him for roughly 500,000 US dollars, which I believe at the time was an Argentinian football record, which is kind of incredible to think about. And I know it was in 1976, which is like 40 odd years ago, but nowadays 500,000 is like nothing. Nonetheless, El Matador made the 20 plus hour flight across South America, the Atlantic Ocean, and eventually arrived in Spain's coastal city of Valencia. Now, if you guys have enjoyed the video so far, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get back into the video and see how Mario got on with Valencia. Mario arrived in Valencia and the killer wasted zero time picking up where he left off for Rosario Central, scoring goals for fun. In his first two seasons in the Spanish top flight, Mario won back-to-back -back Pichichi's trophies or the top goal scorer in the Liga with 24 goals in his first season and 28 goals in his second season. Then that summer, he performed extremely well for Argentina at the World Cup, which we'll get into a little later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. And then in 1978, he won South American Footballer of the Year. Now, Mario just didn't win a lot of personal accolades while at Valencia, but he also helped the club win some trophies as well. He helped Los Che win the 1978-79 Copa del Rey, and in the final, Mario scored a brace as Valencia beat Real Madrid 2-0. Then in the 1979-1980 season, he helped Valencia win the Europeans Cup Winners' Cup and the UEFA Super Cup. He also scored his most goals in a season for Valencia, netting 31 goals in 41 appearances. Mario was a complete goal scorer. He had speed, strength, and could finish equally well on both his left and his right foot. Not to mention, he had a head full of amazing hair. Like, look at that hair, man. That's beautiful. But Mario could also pick the ball up and run at defenders with a blistering pace that made him extremely hard to defend. And he was a very hard working forward as well. And again, let's just admire how beautiful Mario's hair was. Like, look at that full head of hair. That is, that's beautiful. But in all seriousness, he was a goal scoring machine, a defender's nightmare, and a true matador on the pitch. In total, Mario played five seasons for Valencia, making 165 appearances and scoring 111 goals. But then he decided to return to Argentina as he joined with the Giants of River Plate. So, Mario made the 20 plus hour flight once again, leaving Spain, crossing the Atlantic, and this time arriving in Buenos Aires. Mario only played one season for River Plate, but he still did his thing, scoring goals. He banged in roughly 15 goals in 29 appearances in the Premier División, leading River Plate to the league title. And then he returned to Spain and Valencia for his second stint with the club. 
this time around, Mario only played two seasons for Los Che, but he didn't score goals at the same rate that he did before leaving for Argentina. 21 goals in roughly 52 appearances, which is still almost a goal every other game, but not really to the standard of El Matador. And the 1983-84 season would be his last in Valencia. In the end, Mario made over 200 appearances for Los Che, scoring approximately 132 goals. However, Mario wasn't done playing football in Spain because he would sign with neighboring club Hercules in Alicante. Mario would play two seasons for Alicante, scoring 10 goals in 40 appearances, and then he would make the move to Austria, where he would play his next seven seasons. Mario played two seasons for first Vienna, scoring 12 goals in 42 appearances. Then he played three seasons for SK and St. Polten, and in 99 appearances, he scored 42 goals. And Mario's last stop in Austria was with Kramsa SC, where he played two seasons, scoring 13 goals in 66 appearances. And to end off his career, Mario would play for three different clubs in three different countries in three years. The Indonesian outfit Palita Jaya, the Chilean side Fernandez Vial, and the Albanian club FK Lucena. Now, Mario Kempes made his Argentina debut on September 23rd, 1973 at the age of 19 versus Bolivia. He would only make 43 appearances for his country, but he managed to score 20 goals. And when it comes to Argentinian legends, at the top of that list is Diego Maradona, who helped his country win the World Cup title in 1986, and Leo Messi, who did the same in 2022. But Mario El Matador Kempas was the first Argentinian attacking magician to lead Argentina to the World Cup title with his performances in 1978. A tournament that saw Mario net six goals, getting golden boot for the tournament, and in the final scoring two and getting an assist as La Albi Celeste would capture their first World Cup title beating the Dutch 3-1 in extra time. And this might be the most special World Cup title that Argentina has ever won, not just because it was their first, but because it was on home soil. And it's the only World Cup to have ever been played in Argentina. Mario Kempes was a defender's nightmare, a goal scoring machine, and a World Cup winner. Now, Alessandro Del Piero was also a defender's nightmare, a goal scoring machine, and a World Cup winner as well. He is Mr. Juventus, played 19 seasons in Turin, and is the most capped player in the old ladies' history. Del Piero was like an artist on the pitch, and he dazzled fans with his amazing skills. Now, if you want to learn more about the Italian legend's incredible career, then check out the video on screen right here. But I've been the Football Lisa. I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.